craving chocolate, gaining weight, bloated, depressed, irritable. Sound familiar? The physical and psychological symptoms of premenstrual syndrome are now known to be associated with chemical changes that occur within our bodies, starting at ovulation and peaking before the flow begins. Hi, I'm Jane Fryer. I'm a professional masseuse specializing in Chinese acupressure. I've been studying yoga for over 15 years and teaching for 10. I'd like to share my knowledge with you. When PMS became a personal problem five years ago, I designed a three-hour workshop using techniques from the ancient healing arts of acupressure and yoga that relieved the stress and symptoms. The workshop focused on self-help, giving people tools to experience relief naturally. This video is a short synthesis of that workshop. It only takes 20 minutes. The routine will not only work to relieve PMS, but daily stress as well, and is designed to be done anytime in the privacy of your own space, your home. It's a series of pressure points with deep relaxation. We'll hold all the points between one and two minutes, giving the body a chance to respond to each contact. Your pressure does not need to be heavy to be effective. This part is followed by a few yoga poses to stretch and relax the whole body. Please view the yoga before doing it. You will need non-restrictive clothes and bare feet, as well as a soft belt or scarf. So turn the phone off and let's start unwinding. Sitting in a comfortable chair, just lean forward and let the ribs rest against the thighs. Relax the back of the neck, allowing the top of the head to drop down naturally toward the floor. Place the wrists in the opposite elbows to further encourage the shoulders to let go. Gently breathe, pressing the ribs against the legs and release the neck from the middle of the back. Feel the lower back stretching. Let the breath be even and complete. Have the feet placed right under the knees on the floor directly in front of you. Notice as you breathe how the back ribs move slightly apart one from the other. Feel very secure in your seat, letting the upper spine totally stretch from your mid-back. Rolling up, slowly lift the head first, then the chest. Now, lie down on the floor and put your legs up supported from the knee to the foot by your chair. Place your hands gently over your knees and simply hold. Pressure points work like removing a plug from a full bath. The contact of the hands allows a draining sensation, a release of tension held within the body, consequently the unwinding. Allow your back to melt into the floor. The back of the neck is soft. Relax your stomach. Place any finger in the depression to the outside of the patella, the kneecap. This area relates to emotional balance. It's helpful for craving chocolate, relieving fatigue and headaches. Next, you'll need your scarf to tie the soles of your feet together. So, take the scarf or soft belt, 
Tie it around the feet. Be sure to keep the balls of the feet and the heels even with one another. Tie the strap tightly, but not too tight. With the feet bound, the inner thigh muscle and ligaments can relax completely, signaling the lower abdomen to soften. Adjust your body so you can easily reach your ankles. Place the thumbs on the inside ankle bone, right behind the middle of the most prominent part of that bone. Press under and in. Simply hold. The traditional name for this point is Mountain Stream. It reduces water retention and is helpful for relief of depression and fatigue, restoring vitality. As the body responds to your touch, relax your kidneys at about waist level just underneath the skin on your back. Relax your eyes. Next, we'll move to a point on the inner thighs. Move the hands from the inner groins to the knees along the femur bone. Run the thumbs along the bone and sense its place within your leg. Then press under the bone and towards the inside at the midpoint. Simply hold. The neck and shoulders are loose and light. These points are helpful for fatigue, indigestion, overeating, and feeling grounded. In addition, they relieve depression and cramping. Let the tension drain right out of the legs. Now, take the tie off, bringing the feet together, and place the hands on top of the feet near the base of the toes. Find the space between the big toe and the next one. Press down into the soft flesh beyond the end of the metatarsal or toe bone. The knees are into the chest. This is a very powerful point. It's actually widely used as a detox point for whatever is out of balance. It's called bigger rushing and helps headaches, tired legs, indecision, and irritability. On each exhalation, let the liver soften and release, and again, the eyes.
Now, bring the knees and feet back to the chair. Release the arms and hands. Take a moment to breathe deeply in. Exhale and let go completely. Now we'll be moving along and won't need the chair. Lie down flat. Bring the knees together. Let the inner knees both touch and place the feet so that they are slightly pigeon-toed. The knees and feet balance one another. The back should feel no pressure. Take the hands to the breast tissue. Feel for the nipple and come straight down about two inches. Find a space between the ribs. Press the first finger directly down and hold. The traditional name of this point is Gate of Hope and is helpful for hypertension and mood swings. Also, to keep the breast tissue healthy. Allow the tension to drain from the body and mind on every exhalation. Now, roll over and place the right hand under the sacrum with the palm up or down, whichever is most comfortable for you. Take your left hand and place the thumb by the ear, resting the third finger on the top of the head. Gently press into the head point. This is a sacral cranial connection. It relaxes the mind and drains soreness from the lower back. Bring the hands out and rest them gently on the side ribs with the middle fingers touching in the center resting on the ribs themselves. As you breathe in, softly expand the side ribs towards the elbows and release on the exhalation. Keep repeating this conscious opening of the rib cage, gently breathing in and out. Slowly lower the hands straight down, placing the palms on the prominence of the sides of the hips. Where the third finger falls between the hips and the pubic bone is where you press directly down and hold. Again, a very powerful point. Its traditional name is Mansion Cottage. It's a tonic point for the uterus, helps sexual frustration, and encourages calmness. Now, gently lower one leg at a time. Place your hands right on top of your lower abdomen. Relax your eyes, letting them drop downward and rest as if they were supported by a soft pillow. And subtly turn their gaze towards the chest, allowing the mind's eye to open. Visualize space between the eyebrows and the hairline, letting the front brain drop downward and rest with the back brain. Release the root of the tongue, the front of the throat, and the jaw. The top and bottom teeth are separate from one another. 
Let the face relax, especially the corners of the eyes and mouth, the temples. Notice the rhythm of the breath. Allow the spine to drop downwards. Feel the space behind your knees and the inner elbows. Now, interlace the hands behind your head and on an inhalation, stretch the whole body. Press the low back down and flex the feet. Exhaling, slowly roll to your side and come up to all fours for a few yoga stretches. Round the back, lift the hips, come up onto the toes. Slowly descend the heels. Stretch through the shoulders and elbows. Bring the ribs towards the thighs. The head should be a natural extension of the spine. Spread the fingers, pressing into the joints of the hands, and lengthen the spine. Come up onto the toes and walk the legs forward until the ankles are under the hips, a comfortable distance apart. If tight hamstrings make straight legs unrealistic, simply bend the knees here. Again, lower the ribs towards the knees. Tighten the quadriceps, the front thigh muscle, to protect the knees. Slowly lift the head, bend the knees, and come down. Extend the feet in front of you, pressing the back of the knees down and flexing the toes. Draw the flesh of the buttocks out to the side and place the hands over the toes. Hold your ankles if this is more comfortable. Relax the ribs towards the thighs. Interlace the fingers. Lift them up, press back and up into the wrists, opening the shoulder joint. Simply breathe. Lower the hands. Come back to a sitting position. Bend the knees, then lower them to the floor. Sit on your heels, lower your torso resting on your thighs. As you breathe in, connect your ribs and legs, bringing a soft stretch to your lower spine. Release any holding in between the buttocks and sense space in the crown of your head. Allow the mind to be quite quiet. Rest as long as you wish and glide up slowly when you're ready. Namaste.